Roller coasters are often mistaken for being potentially dangerous amusement attractions, when in reality, they are some of the safest things around. However, they haven't been without their accidents. These are five of the worst roller coaster disasters recorded in amusement history. Starting off with number 5 is perhaps one of the most gruesome events recorded here that left one dead and 19 injured. On May 5, 2007, in Osaka, Japan, 20 people boarded Expo Land's Fujin Rahin 2, a well-known stand-up coaster from manufacturer Togo. The train left the station with no issues and continued throughout half its layout as intended, until suddenly, the train fell leftwards dramatically, smashing into a guardrail. As the train landed on the guardrail, a young woman's head got trapped in between it and the train, causing the only fatality in this accident. However, it didn't end there. The train continued on several hundred feet after, dragging the woman's head along the rail and pinning riders on the left side. Once it came to a stop, safety measures were taken to remove the riders and treat them as needed. The park later admitted that the cause of the accident was a broken wheel axle, which hadn't had its annual inspection due to a lack of funding from the park. This caused a major decline in attendance, and Expo Land eventually closed in 2009. Number 4 brings us to one of the most infamous accidents in roller coaster history, which happened at Bell's Amusement Park in Tulsa, Oklahoma. On April 20th, 1997, a train carrying an unspecified amount of people made its way up the chain lift. As it ascended to the top, there was a failure within the chain system itself, and the ride began to roll backwards. In a normal circumstance, a device known as an anti-rollback would grab the train, eliminating any chance of a rollback into the station. Unfortunately, this was one of those rare circumstances where the anti-rollback didn't work, which sent the train flying back. A 14-year-old boy was ejected and died immediately, and six others were badly injured. A statement later released by the park showed that the anti-rollback system had previously been replaced by the park using a material not approved by the manufacturer. This was deemed the cause of the accident and eventually led to the closure of Bells in 2006. Moving on to number 3 is an accident that took place in 1911 at Revere Beach in Massachusetts. While certainly not the worst accident on this list, it definitely was worth noting after causing the deaths of three people on three separate occasions. In June of 1911, a treasurer of the ride was giving a lecture on safety to oncoming passengers. While doing so, he himself broke one of the safety rules on his own and ironically died after standing on the ride. This prompted a strong need for new brakes and restraints, which evidently failed to be installed by the park. Later in 1917, a man riding lost his hat and attempted to retrieve it. Due to the nature of the poorly designed restraints, he fell out of it and was left stranded on the track. Minutes later, another train came by and dragged him over 30 feet before he died of unsustainable injuries. According to a news article at the time, the man broke over 90% of the bones in his body. Spot number two happened on Willard's Wizard at Marriott's Great America Amusement Park after a teenage boy stepped onto the coaster and without warning was rammed by a second train entering the station. This train was out of control and failed to come to a stop on the final brake run. The impact threw the boy onto the tracks, where the same train crushed his chest and abdomen. He died, and eight others were injured. This proved to be one of five fatal accidents in the park's history. Eventually, the blame was placed on disruptive electrical currents that offset the ride's safety systems. It wasn't long after that wizard was disassembled and permanently removed from the park. And finally, perhaps the worst roller coaster disaster in amusement history, we've reached number one on this list. At Battersea Park in London, England, the Big Dipper, a three-car wooden coaster, had been experiencing problems since its opening day. In May of 1951, an empty car derailed and knocked over a protective railing, stranding passengers in the other cars. In 1968, another crash gave a woman a broken arm. But the worst accident on the Big Dipper happened in the afternoon of May 30th, 1972 when 31 people boarded the coaster and ascended the chain lift. On top, the mechanism designed to let the train go prematurely released, sending the cars plummeting backwards down the hill and into a turn. The train consequently derailed, killing five children and injuring 13 others. Following this accident, the park manager and the coaster's engineer were charged with manslaughter, though they were cleared at trial. However, this would end up being the final straw for the park and Funfair closed permanently. So while all these accidents have proven horrific and have left a lasting mark on the amusement industry, it's important to note that the likelihood of these actually happening is extremely low. The reality is, roller coasters are some of the safest things around, and when run properly, can be a great deal of fun for everyone. So next time you visit a theme park, don't let stories like these scare you, rather let them be a lesson. I cannot deny the tragedies that have occurred in the past, but as the coaster industry continues to advance, we will only get safer and safer from here. 
So with that, I leave you with five of the worst roller coaster accidents recorded in amusement history. I'd like to thank all of you who've made it this far for watching, and would ask for you to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Stay tuned for another video coming Wednesday, and be sure to check us out on Instagram for those daily posts. See ya!